Hi, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Teresa Crawley at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. It's my pleasure to show you this 2017 used Renegade Icon. Renegade icons are extremely rare to find nowadays. Um, one, because people hold on to them for a long time because they're really well built. Um, another thing is that Renegade has put a stop on manufacture for a while. So we don't know how long that that stop's gonna last. But again, super rare to find something like this. So really excited to show you this. It's built on the Cascadia chassis. We have a 600 horsepower Cummins engine, disc brakes all around, and a lot of really nice features. Um, I just wanted to start with showing you the engine compartment and one of the main reasons that people like to buy these Super C's is not only for the towing capacity, but also for the ability to work on it yourself. So if you needed to check or change filters or fluids, things like that, it's very easy to access on a unit like this. Love that big red engine. And come around to the other side, you can see a lot of the other features here that, that it's super easy to get to. Um, they also build these bumpers so that they're breakaway bumpers, so you're not going to have a broken bumper if you were to be in an accident. They actually fold in. They're not going to go into this compartment here. So that's just a nice, nice thing that they do for you. Um, again, access to all of these things. And this hood is built on shocks, so it's really easy for even someone that's not super strong to just put it back and pull it down. So I can do this really easily and then it'll just take care of the rest for me. I love that. Um, we do have two side cameras here. So extra safety for us to be able to see what's going on along the side of the coach. They're not mounted real high, but you can see if somebody's trying to pass you or if there's a child on the road um, that you're traveling down that you can have that extra safety. And those come up on your front monitor when you turn on that turn signal, whether right or left. So I think we'll make our way around here. Nice awning side. We've got a really nice big awning with LED lights. We also have a door awning here as well. So if you just need to bring groceries in or something and it's raining outside, you can do that quite easily. We also have ground effects lighting under the coach, which it's really hard to see since it's daylight right now, but that is a feature that is included on this coach. Here we have your Aqua Hot. This is a 600D unit, so the biggest I believe that you can get in a motorhome. Um, this is going to provide your furnace heat inside the coach as well as your tankless or continuous hot water. It also can serve as an engine preheat for you. You'll notice as we go around the coach that these are some of the best doors on the market. They close very easily and very, very well. Um, the seal keeps these really well intact. The other thing I want you to notice is that all these um, bays are lined, so they're spray coated to help them to last longer. And also the underneath of the coach has a really nice undercoating that Renegade does. This is of course a full body paint and a really nice color scheme. You're not gonna get tired of it over the, over the years. Outside TV with the Bose sound bar. Let's see here. So that it does, it does pull out, but I don't want to break it today. How's that? This bay, we have a programmable fridge freezer. So this does come out on a tray and you can decide what temperature you want it at. So if you wanted your cold beers in here, you can set it to one temperature. If you wanted to put some meat or go fishing and put your, your catches in here, you can make it a freezer. So really nice feature to have that. And I like to tell people to keep it propped open when you're not using it. And that way it doesn't get um, that stinky smell from having moisture in there. This is where your intervac system or your central vacuum system is. That's where you're gonna change your filters. Um, and inside the coach, you'll see that there's a couple of portals that we can vacuum into. Again, so easy to close these doors. Um, this is one of the biggest things about this coach, actually. We have eight um, wheels back here, eight tires. 
Um, and they both can be engaged, or all eight of them can be engaged at the same time. So um, we call that a twin screw. So these can both or all be driving um, to help push you along and that's gonna give you a ton of extra power. So twin screw on this coach, really nice. This bay they did a great job with because they gave you almost pass-through storage. It's not quite because that chassis rail does get in the way, but they, they made it go back as far as they could get it to go. And again, spray coated to help protect that down there. And just another one here. And going around the back of the coach, you'll of course see this is a 600 horsepower. We do have a 30,000 pound towing capacity in this coach. Um, we also have a place to hook up a trailer camera. Um, and we do have a uh, braking system, an integrated um, Kurt braking system on this. So if you have a trailer that you're bringing along, that's a really great safety thing to have the brake system already set up for you. Also, we have backup camera. And we do have another set of cameras here um, that can be used as a, a security system inside the coach as well. Here we have your 50 amp cord, and this is on a power rewind reel. So push a button and that will go away. Also in this compartment, so you can see how that works, it's pretty easy. There we go, there we go. Sometimes it does that when it gets too thick in there and you just have to move the, the cord over a little bit and then it can rewind easier. So that's how that works. But you have your surge protector with your transfer switch in there as well. And then here we have your 12.5 Cummins Onan quiet diesel generator about 160 hours on this generator, but that's gonna put out lots of power. And the previous owner of this coach added a lot of power, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Um, so we actually had to get up on the roof of our building to take a picture of this coach to find out how much solar was added to it, and we counted 12 panels. So 12 solar panels were added to this coach. It's got... <laughs> tons of off-grid power. So um, this is your water bay. We do have a whole house ma macerator. Both of the toilets inside are also macerators. Um, a little place to put your gray hose there and a whole house water filter as well. Then in here, we don't, this is just your black dump, but you can see that your tanks are all gonna be insulated. Every tank in this also has a heat uh, pad on it or a heat strip that you can turn on to help keep it warm. But that aqua hot system that I was telling you about earlier is also going to serve as a heater to this underneath storage. So you don't need to worry about your water, um, any of your tanks or any of your dump places freezing on this coach. The other thing I want you to notice is these rounded corner flush mount slides. They just give such a nice sleek appearance to this coach very high end, and you can't get this in any other Renegade product. So down here, we have two 2800 watt inverters. Also your solar panel controllers are down there and your hydraulics for your slide outs. Um, one thing that I found was interesting, this right here is in case your hydraulics were to fail and you can't get your slides in or out, you can actually do it manually and crank it right there. And down here, we of course have your engine batteries right here, but down here we have eight lithium batteries that were added aftermarket. So the Battleborn 100 amp hour batteries are on here. All right. So if you're ready, we can go on inside. I want you to see how much room you have when you're walking through the coach, but what a beauty this is. Love the paint, love how big this nose is here too. It's just really bad A. So 
So here at our entry door, we have a programmable door code. So you can make this your own secret code so you can get in and out if you happen to forget your keys or something. And then of course, a powered step. Then you get to see all this beautiful woodwork. Um, Renegade does a really great job with solid wood cabinetry. This coach also happens to have all new living room furniture made by Villa. And a lot of just really beautiful amenities. This is a solid quartz countertop here and a really beautiful tile backsplash, high-end appliances in here. Um, and you'll also notice the ceiling has these really beautiful infinity lights. Um, make me think of raindrops falling on my head. Um, but one of the biggest things for you to note is that this ceiling is seven feet, six inches tall. So even our taller folks are gonna feel at home in this coach. It doesn't feel cramped and it definitely doesn't feel like a camper. So I'm gonna put slides out so you can see how that works. And you'll notice I have this really nice panel right here. So right next to the door, I can control pretty much everything in the coach. Um, I can check my tanks. I can um, do all my shades here, my lights for each individual room. I can check my inverter, my power, start and stop my generator, which also of course has an auto gen start feature and you can set that how you like. Turn on the water pump. You can turn on your electric or diesel for the aqua hot there. So get your water heated up. Also, of course, your thermostat is right here in this area. So right now, let's see, what was I gonna do? Slide out, so let's see. I believe they're on, sorry, I forgot where this was. Here it is. Okay, so extend for both of these and it's gonna give me a warning. Make sure that you have your driver's seat up and I believe I need to have the ignition on. Sorry about that. I turned it off because I couldn't get the awning out without it off. Now I have to have it on, so forgive me for that. And there's the beautiful sound of that Cummins diesel engine. All right, let's get these slides out. nice quiet slides and they're actually pretty quick to get out but you're gonna see this living room is gonna become a ballroom it's so big keep going there We go. Now that's a living room. It's big and beautiful. I'm gonna make sure that was out all the way. Here we go. Now I'm gonna get the bedroom slides out. So we have four slides on this coach. And again, it is 45 feet long, so quite a bit of room in here. A lot of our customers spend quite a bit of the year in these coaches, so the more room, the better. All right. All right, I think we're all the way out. So here's the kitchen area. I'll just show you, we've got a good amount of storage in here. And again, quartz countertops. So I'm just gonna open these real quickly. I don't feel like I need to explain what storage is. <laughs> Lots of room up here. Of course, your old manuals are in there as well and some remotes. A Little bit of space up here for spices, et cetera. And we have a GE Advantium convection microwave. So you can actually bake and crisp in there. And we have a two burner induction cooktop that of course is gonna need a special pan that uh, any magnet sticks to the bottom of it and you know that it's a good pan. Cast iron works in these really well. 
nice drawer. The other thing about this is they do um, this really nice dovetail construction and soft closed doors. So they're really well made. And this is solid wood. It's not particle board stuck together with a shiny piece on top. This is actually really legit well-made stuff here. Of course, this is your dishwasher. And then I'll show you the sink real quick. It's important how deep that is for you. Nice stainless steel. Like I said, this is solid quartz. <laughs> so if you want to see that, it's beautiful. So there's your nice deep sink. It's a really good size actually. Um, as we move around, you can see that we've got a nice love seat here. This is going to be a storage place underneath and a little bit of a jackknife, jackknife for sleeping. Sorry, I didn't get the right angle there. Sorry about that. I got this down earlier, so there we go. Sorry. A lot of these things are just about getting the right angle of where you're pushing or pulling. So it's not hard. It's not putting out your back. It's just learning this particular couch. And like I said, these are all new in here and butter soft, made by Villa. Down here we have some storage. And then directly across we have a really nice theater seat with power recliners. I can show you how that works. And just so you know, there's USBs and power outlets next to us, as well as a USB charger down here. But this goes back pretty far, nice and comfortable. And another thing that I didn't mention yet is that all of the MCD shades in here, the day and night, are powered. So you can actually push a button. Um, there's even a special button on that panel that says theater mode, and it'll dim the lights, close all of these, and put the TV up. So, of course, the TV is on a button here, and I'll show you that directly across but I like that you can put it away when you're not using it. And you can see more of these beautiful windows. Really lets in a lot of natural light, these really nice big windows in here. Big TV. And a Bose sound bar is included there as well. Then for your dining area, we do have a quartz tabletop with a really nice booth. These again are super, super comfy. And then we have a storage ottoman that we can put out to put our feet up if we choose to do so. Um, it does need to be tucked away when the slides are in though, just so there's room. But there's storage under either of these seats as well. So we of course have a residential refrigerator. This is a Samsung 22 and a half cubic foot. We also have ice and water in the door, but it's a big one. And a freezer as well. So moving on to the hallway, we do have, um, this is where you're gonna put your vacuum hose in. So that's where you would attach that to do some vacuuming. And then we've got quite a bit of pantry space here. So this here is just a control panel. So not usable space, but here we have a really great lockable pull-out pantry. And down here is a place that you can reset your breakers really easily. So you know exactly if something popped, you know exactly what it's going to be. Really nice. And then right here, separate washer and dryer. These are in here so well though, they're not going to rattle around and make a lot of noise. So I like that they've even added like a thick piece on top with carpeting to keep it really sturdy in here. Now directly across from that, we have your half bath. Great for when you have guests or for when you're in travel mode and you can't get to your rear bathroom. Again, quartz, 
We of course have a fantastic fan in there and a little bit of storage as well. So in the master bedroom, we have a king size bed. We've also got reading lights and controls for lights over the bed. We also have USBs and 110s on the side of the bed for you to plug in whatever devices you need. Really beautiful ceiling feature in here as well. And then we also have another one of the control panels that I was showing you earlier. So again, we can check our water, we can turn on our exterior lights, our interior lights, we can put all of our shades up or down from these panels. We can control our fans, our tank heaters, our water pump, put in slides. The other thing about this panel is it can be Bluetooth to your devices, so your phone, etc. We have the Vega Touch mobile apps available, so you can use your phone to do a lot of these things and not even get up out of your bed. So really nice that these are included. Um, so under the bed, there is no storage. There's actually two 75 gallon water tanks under here. So that's your fresh water and it's kept under the bed to keep it warm, keep it from freezing, etc. But lots of water on here, 150 gallons. Then of course, another flat screen, Samsung TV, a Bose soundbar. We do have DVD and a direct TV, which you're, you might wanna change all of that. So I'm not gonna talk a lot about the satellite system and things on here. Um, it does have some, but it's hard to know if that's exactly the one you're going to want. So down here we have three of these large um, pull-out drawers. We do have a safe in this one compartment. And then the other ones, just more storage. And Renegade didn't build dividers in between these, so you can actually fit some longer things in these. Now this storage actually goes to the hanging uh, closet that I'm going to show you in just a minute. So again, it's not divided behind this TV at all. So you can go all the way through with some of your longer items, but this is your hanging closet. Goes all the way through. Back in your master bathroom, has just a really good sized beautiful shower I'm gonna get in here just so you can see it's very wide and this is gonna fit a lot of our folks you know larger folks it's also quite tall we've got a really nice rain shower head as well as a sprayer over here as well and some sprays that come out here and don't worry we'll clean it up in here since I stepped in here but again well lit really good space and then in here we have tons of storage. And one more down here. So no fake storage here. It's all quite usable. I think this is just such a classic beautiful coach. It, it doesn't look outdated to me. It looks like something that's going to last through the years as something that's known as good quality and beautiful. Now in the front cab, a lot of nice features up here as well. And I'll give you just a glimpse of what's up here. Again, I don't want to get into the electronics too much because you might want a different kind of wine guard satellite or um, things like that if you want a different Wi-Fi wi booster. This does have those components on here. We have another Samsung TV in this one. It does pull out so you can move it around and watch it from different angles or different t or, uh, couches, etc. There we go. We do have a place right here that you can do your slides again, turn different lights on, start your generator, etc. just as a easy access panel. And then here we have your HWH computerized leveling and your inverter control.
really, really comfortable seats up here in the cab. And you can hear that, that engine purr. What a nice sound. The other thing about these is that you know that you're gonna be very safe with that engine in front of you if there ever were to be an accident. Um, this is gonna have tons of power for getting up the hill, etc. cetera. Um, we do have a Vorad system on here, so that's gonna help um, alert you if you're getting too close to somebody. Um, Um, on the sides and the back. And then we also have your trailer camera that I was telling you about before. Um, we do have a high, high, medium, low engine brake up here as well. Um, and then, you know, you can, you can re, regen your trailer brake, et cetera, automatic traction control, et cetera. So a really well-equipped coach, as you can see, trailer brake um, and traction control, et cetera. Um, we're more than happy to explain more about how that functions. Um, if you need any more information, I can send you the original build sheet from this coach. Um, it is a 2017, about 35,000 miles, and I would love to hear from you. My name is Teresa Crawley at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, real close to Denver. So I hope to hear from you and have a great day.